Hello, my name is Veronica. I'm a cosmetic scientist and a pharmacist and welcome to my skincare channel. Today we're going to talk about all the empty products that I have. Like it's been a couple of months that I've been collecting those, right? Uh, people always ask me, like, I don't think I have so much skincare. How do you even use it all up? You have one face and I'm like, yes, I have one face, but I also have friends and family. So I give a lot of products to my friends. If I think that that product is better suited, like for dry skin, I give it to like somebody with really dry skin or if I have multiple products or if I already tried out the products. So you know, I don't give bad products to people for the bad products. I may, I, I might actually empty them because um, usually I'm searching for a way to use them anyway. So today we also have a couple of products like that, like that I totally hated, but I converted into something else. So stay with me. And by the way, it's good to be my friend, right? Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, please feel free to subscribe to this channel and to like and share all the content that you enjoy, right? So let's just get into it. I'm gonna divide it like in a, a meaningful way, right? First starting like with cleansers, then serums, moisturizers, um, maybe hair care and body care. I'm gonna start with mist, right? So my favorite mist so far is this from Aven. It's their thermal water and it's just, you know, it just feels so good on the skin. It has a lot of like their mineral composition is amazing. Um, so there are a lot of trace elements and it's like if your skin is sensitive or dry, you know, this is the perfect solution for that sh shot of mist um instead of coffee you know it gives you that feeling like you just you just drank something really energetic but your skin is drinking it so i i really like it um i already have a new one because i haven't sent me one so many thanks to them it's in the, that kind of a light spray um packaging that gives a really nice feeling on the skin. This is also import, when, important when it comes to mists, like the, the spray nozzle, right? If it, if it makes it like really tiny droplets, then the feeling is way better than just normal spray. Um, and another one that I love is Queen of Hungary Mist from Omorovica. Um, it's um, a really luxury, actually, mist because it is pricey, but maybe as a gift, it's it's kind of it, it would be a lovely gift. It's glass, you know, and it looks so luxurious um, in your bathroom. So maybe, you know, if you like a little bit, uh, um, if you like products on the expensive side, this would totally be for you. I really enjoy that product, but you know, I cannot just get it all the time because of the price, of course. And then, you know, I converted one really bad product into mist as well. So this is one thing, Centella Asiatica extract. I love Centella everywhere, you know, and I, I was like really lured to try this product because it looks so fancy, right? And it's not glass, by the way, it's just plastic, which bothered me like a lot. And it even, it made my skin like feel even more dry and it did nothing for my skin, even burned at some point. So um, I turned it into mist. I put it like in a mist container and I just missed it like throughout my body. I just didn't want to give it to anybody or, you know, but on my body it was okay. It just feels like refreshed, but nothing, nothing like, like I don't recommend the product. And moving on, those are my two like really important cleansers. They're really good and inexpensive. So first of all, we have CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. It's like meant for dry to normal skin, but obviously I have combination skin and it's really good. It, it, it's like 473 milliliters. This is like put it in the shower and use it up. You know, cleansers shouldn't be expensive. They should be cheap because 
cheap and effective because like the one point of cleanser is to cleanse your face not to put actives on your face right so put your money elsewhere um just find a gentle cleanser this is this is like i really enjoy it it doesn't foam and that's why i think it's so much gentler on my skin because my cheeks are dry and my t-zone is oily so you know it doesn't make my cheeks more dry it's just evens it out it's really nice and the next one is the oil cleansing balm uh from the inky list um, I have like a love-hate relationship with this one because I loved it when it came and I was using it, it melts the makeup away, it nourishes the skin, you can even use it as a face mask, but it liquefies at some point, you know, and it really bothered me because like oh, it went everywhere as liquid and I put it in the fridge as I found a suggestion on the internet and then it was a little bit better and then it liquefied again now oh my god yeah 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 it, it just spreads out it liquefies at one point that's why I'm like it's really good I would get it again until it liquefies you know you have a lot of it like 150 milliliter but this is like a cleansing this is a balm so you don't need a lot of it it takes a long time to use it up um but if it wouldn't be liquefying i would probably repurchase it that way i probably won't right after we cleanse, we use different serums. I love good vitamin C serum. And Geek and Gorgeous has this Siglo, like 10 euro worth uh, serum with 50% vitamin C and ferulic acid. It's so similar to CE ferulic from SkinCeuticals. They're 16 times more expensive. Um, but you have to use it up like really quick, like in a month or less, like you have to pour your face with it because it's going orange like like really fast. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't recommend it for sensitive skin, but it's perfect for like, for my skin. So I'm, I'm convinced that I'm gonna buy it again, maybe even very soon, you know? You can't make a stash of it because it's just, it's going bad since the minute you're opening it. They're even making it fresh like every week at Geek and Gorgeous. So, um, when I use up my other vitamin C, maybe I'll reorder this one. And, you know, I'm really surprised with this CVR vitamin C. It's actually a derivative, 3-O-ethyl ascorbic acid. I don't like derivatives that much, you know, but this one really surprised me with it's with 20% optimized vitamin C because it gives like a really fresh feeling in the morning. It's not mental, it's something else. And it's just, it's, you know, vitamin C brightens and, and then this freshness comes in and it's just like, mm, good morning, you know, your face just wakes up. So this is like a tester version, I think. Yeah, of course it is. Come on, it's, it's like 10 mils. Um, but I'm definitely, when I have a chance, I'm gonna order the bigger version. And of course, in the evening, I use some peptide serum. And my favorite one is the Buffet serum. Um, this one is with copper peptides. I didn't see any difference between the normal Buffet and the copper peptides Buffet. The price being half, you know, uh, half the price of the copper peptides. I'm gonna stick with my usual buffet but i'm gonna try the ni neod uh copper uh amino acylate serum so this one is like with peptides i love peptides they work as an anti-aging active and also you know really hydrating one i'm just like you know it's in the middle of the day and i'm already like seeing some signs of sleepless nights what we do after serums, we put some moisturizers. I have two moisturizers for you, my friend. Um, this one is from Comfort Zone. It's a tripeptide cream. I mean, it's amazing for combination oily skin. Uh, it sinks right, right in uh, and you can use it like in the morning or in the evening, right? But the smell is a little bit, I would say on the masculine side, 
it might be a really good gift for a guy. I don't know. So I used it up because it's really nice. Um, and then from Ionic, this Centella Calming Gel Cream. I was like, this is like um, best-selling uh, gel cream, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what is it all about? And I didn't know it until the summer came and I needed a really lightweight moisturizer. And this is like 72% Centella Asiatica leaf water and tea tree leaf water 10%. It's, it's, it's so nice. I used it up. Um, at seaside because I just use this as a moisturizer. It soothes the skin. It the, the texture is really jelly. And for somebody with oily skin, this is a perfect moisturizer to try. It's also not that expensive. I'm gonna repurchase it for sure. And in the evening after serums, you apply what a thick cream. Um, now it's popular to say sleeping mask, right? What sleeping mask actually is, it, it actually covers all the serums, all the hydration that you already put on your skin before. And I have these two, which are like, oh my God, I'm, I already rebought this one and I'm gonna to rebuy this one, definitely. Um, the Ionic one has 16% propolis extract, niacinamide, uh, beta-glucan, elantin, glycerin, blah, blah, blah. It, it, it's so nourishing. But if you like the really thick cream, so it doesn't soak in completely. Um, if you want something that's a little bit more like soaking in your, in your skin, then this Midnight Calming Cream with Centella Asiatica is great. Oh my God, it looks so good. Come on, look at the packaging. And then now it's empty, but... It's actually so blue. It's so nice. It even it, it's calming to the eyes and the skin. So it's perfect, really. I would be repurchasing this one. And then after the cream, you know, we use sunscreen. I don't have any empty sunscreen because I have so many. I have, but for later. I have so many opened that, you know, I don't even have a chance to use it up. <laughs> You know, I'm just testing all the different sunscreens. So in the next video, probably there will be like tons of sunscreens in the next empties video. And this, I just have this um, Antilius Dermopediatrics sunscreen that I used up uh, on my daughter in the summer. Uh, it's a really nice one. It's a hybrid one. So it's 50 plus SPF protection, also UV protection. Um, it has mineral and uh, chemical filters and, you know, it protected the skin of my child this summer really nicely. Let's continue with body care. So, oh my God, this is so great, you know. CeraVe moisturizing cream, such a classic, right? This is 340 grams. It's like, it sinks right in and it moisturizes the skin. It doesn't leave any, you know, residue behind so you can dress up and go somewhere and it's just it's so good you know i'm gonna repurchase for sure um and then there are some sales okay this uh la roche posay antelius collection they're empty why because they're such a fail failing formulation and disappointment for me from the la roche posay um lab you know i don't know what happened here but this line is a complete oh it's just it's just so sad they're they're even pushing it on the market this one pills you know and it makes you shiny and this one just stinges your eyes so bad and i found a solution how to use them up you know they it's kind of expensive to use it as a body cream but i use them up uh, at seaside when I had to reapply it on my, on my body. I used it up. It even bothered me then, but you know, for the sake of the protection. Um, so if you don't like a sunscreen, you can use it up on your body. That's also a really good way to use it up. And then of course, for my keratosis pilaris or like acne, on my body, on my legs. It can also be used as a uh, exfoliant for the face, right? For uh, like uh, chicken skin and this lactic acid is inexpensive and can be used in so many ways. Also from CVR, 
this Xerial 50. It's actually 50% urea product for, you know, it can be used on cracked, dry areas of your skin. Um, for me, it's best used like here where I have this chicken skin, right? Um, but it's really like you don't get more than 50% uh, urea cream on the market. I think like I haven't seen it until now. The SVR laboratory has it um, and in a couple of days you see a major change but you can still feel sometimes the crystals of the urea you know because the cream is so saturated with it. Um, great product and of course, I, I tried this Embryolis for um, eyelashes or for the brows. It did nothing for me. Like I didn't have any, I used it up, but I, there was no like noticeable change in the, um, in the growth of my eyelashes or my brows. And um, for the lip treatment, I used up like already the second one from Aven. It's really nice. It's so nourishing with shea butter and and different like uh, like squalene and castor seed oil. You know, it's it's a really like basic, but once you have it, you just you, you want to keep having it. I like it. I really like this Aven uh, lip balm. And lastly, lastly, I want to share some. Hair care empties. Um, I don't know if I already threw away some of it because I wasn't really collecting hair care items, but from now on I'm gonna. So here I have like two shampoos that I used when I had like um, bad dandruff. You know, it happens from time to time um, uh, that I get dandruff, especially now after pregnancy and after birth. I had like some hormonal changes and I had bad dandruff so this one from Darkos with selenium really helped uh the scalp and here it's 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 so good for like um normal to oily hair and it helps with dandruff it really helps with dandruff another one that was really nice to use was also this ginger shampoo from the body shop um and it's also for dry flaky scalp so if you're having problems with um, flaky scalp or with um, dandruff, either one would be a good pick, right? Um, and then like this mythic oil from L'Oreal. I think it's L'Oreal Professional. I don't know. It smells so good. I already bought it for my friend as a present, like in a bigger packaging. Um, it's, uh, it smells really good. It nourishes the hair. It's not expensive and like, just put it on the strands of the hair and it just feels really nice. Uh, so I already used it up. I think there's just few droplets left. Um, and when I see an opportunity, maybe I will repurchase it. And also, um, Finishing this video, I want to mention this glycolic acid, also a really, um, a really good product that can be used in so many ways. Why I emptied it out? I actually didn't empty it out on my face completely, but on my uh, scalp. So whenever I feel the itchiness, like behind, um, I just it has just the perfect applicator, you know, to like put it on my scalp and after half half an hour it usually stops to each you know glycolic acid is an acid so it gives like the ph of 3.6 if there are any bacteria or fungi or something the environment for them to grow gets you know um destroyed because of the low ph and uh, probably glycolic acid helps with it you can also use it on your face, you know, just be, be, be careful because glycolic acid is the most effective AHA acid. Um, so maybe like be careful on the face, especially now in the summer. I don't use these acids on my face because um, the sun is stronger and my skin gets 
sensitized fast. That was a long video. At least I got rid of all the empty stuff right now. It's just going to the recycling bin in the plastic department. Um, and I'm like opening new one and testing new one. Um, you know, if you like videos like that, just tell me, comment, share, uh, please like it, please subscribe. That means a lot, you know, uh, a bit appreciate, a bit of appreciations for me. Um, and you know, give me some ideas for my future videos. Uh, we will see each other again in the next video. Bye-bye.